Oh, that's been exaggerated. Uh, that's as much my fault as anybody's. I, if I had insisted on it, it would have happened. I didn't, it didn't mean that much to me. I said to Bill one day, <coughs> he came into my office and said, uh, you know, I'm going to be 65. Do you think I ought to retire? Because I had put in the rule of 65. And uh, in fact, I think when I took over the presidency, most of the, most of the vice presidents were 12 to 14 years older than I. And I had to push them out at 65. Paley knew that. And he said, do you think I ought to get out of the company? And I said, well, Bill, what would you do? He said, I don't know what I could do if I couldn't walk into this building every morning and know that my office was upstairs and I had the title of chairman. And I said, it's okay with me. We had no trouble on that score. And when he talked about making the change and drafted them, the memo was drafted to announce it and so forth, and then he got cold feet, I don't know why. I expect because of the same thing he told me he, he just couldn't walk into the building and not be chairman. I didn't make an issue of it. I think if I had made an issue and said goodbye, I would have been named chairman without a question. 